Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Gulf Conduit and Jackson Wang. <laughs> Besties, let's see. What are these two up to right now? What are they going to be doing? Anything together? Let's find out a few things here. We'll see what obstacles are coming in for them. We will look at if they're sensing any changes that are going to be occurring. Um, with all the retrograde, there are a lot of people that are having a look at things, especially relationships. So then we do have um, maybe when they might meet their significant other. Uh, we also have, let's see, um, I got a piece of paper on there. Uh, let's see what their energy is right now what needs to change for things um for their love to come in their love life to come in successfully let's see uh what they want and don't like in a relationship what their hidden confessions may be about others or their person what they feel about this person, if they know who they are, and the outcome. We'll find out about their love. Let's see. Now, I feel like these guys may be besties, friends, whatever you want to call them. So let's see. What can we find out about this? Tell me their energy. Tell me what... Gulf's energy is, oh, we got three cards, okay, so this is going to give me a little bit of a story, and then we'll see about Jackson's energy, wow, they're looking for the lovers, and the tower, and the ten of cups, wow, so they're not going to um, get into anything unless it's really the love of their life, something that maybe comes in unexpectedly because they may not be looking for it right now and I feel like it's all of a sudden with the tower here it really shakes shit up now with the lovers and the ton of cups like this is huh, an amazing like fairy tale love coming in here like this is the love of all loves here like happy family and stability in a long-term relationship they're, it looks like for uh, golf, this is what is coming in, and it's not going to be something he's expecting at all. May not even be looking for that. There's something that's going on here, though. Let's see about Jackson. Oh, wow, we got a couple cards, for, three cards for him, too. So <laughs> let's see, three of pentacles. This is somebody that is a team player, a teammate. This may be their friendship that this is about. The three of pentacles, like this is collaborating, maybe even working together on something. I feel like this is like a shared goals or some type of cooperational there's some learning, some things here. I'm only reading in the upright, by the way. Now, ton of swords here. This may be deep wounds or feeling some painful end or some fear here when it comes to a queen of pentacles. Now, this queen of pentacles is somebody that is nurturing and practical has a lot of success now this could be somebody in the industry here that Jackson Wang is talking to or is conversing with or has feelings for in I feel like the industry maybe just is self-made maybe is somebody that has their own money maybe it could be family money I feel like this is, this may be, <laughs> I'm kind of getting with the Three of Pentacles here and this Ten of Swords. Um, I feel like it's a bit of fear when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it's intimidating. 
this person might be a little intimidated by this woman who's very strong and independent and has material success. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's see. What about their friendship? Tell me about their friendship. I feel like they're they're quite close friends, like really good friends. Brother like brothers, seven of wands. So they overcome challenges maybe together against all odds. Like this is personal wins. And I feel like they may um, support each other when it comes to things like that. That brotherhood I'm getting with that. That's on the bottom of the deck. Badass. <laughs> no description. You know what to do. So like they know. It's almost like <laughs> like such a a good relationship between the two it's such a great friendship like they they both seem to know what to do when it comes to one another as as friends like whenever it comes to hard times especially they may have each other's back i'm getting so this is like strength and integrity that they have for one another I feel like they help one another and maybe even feed off each other's energy that way in a, in a positive way. So let's see what some of these obstacles may be. It could be about love coming in here that could be an obstacle between them. Now, they may both end up getting together with somebody here. Each of them finding love. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, so somebody's worried here. There's fear here. Maybe even going to sabotage things. We have too many differences and a reunion. And I feel like this belongs here. And this may belong here with this Ten of Swords. Sabotage and just may seem like this person maybe just isn't right for them. They may end up sabotaging something that could have been really good. <laughs> no. All right. When it comes to their relationship, any sabotage, any, any sabotage, <laughs> any, um, <laughs> any obstacles between the two friends? <laughs> Let's see. Unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Mm -mm. What's on the bottom of the deck? Reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Uh-oh. So somebody may be... There might be a little bit of a... Because somebody's getting back with somebody and something's not working out with somebody, they may feel like this person that uh, golf is too preoccupied and maybe wanted to tell him something that we couldn't tell him right away. Maybe felt like he was kind of out of his, <laughs> like he didn't care anymore because he was too preoccupied with somebody else. So let us see. What is a change coming in? What is this change? What are they sensing? Because of the retrograde, people are looking at relationships differently. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, they're accepting one another. I feel like it doesn't matter. Uh, there might have been some uh, little tiff. It's not major at all. Yeah, it may have been a little bittersweet to realize that somebody else is in the picture here. And X has come back to each other. So... Somebody came back, yeah. Acceptance, bittersweet about a facade. And I feel like that may be feeling what, yeah, it might be isolated. I feel like this may have been together about this little tiff they're having here. Maybe felt isolated, not wanted anymore. Might have felt that their friendship was just a facade and because uh, now there's a reunion for for golf 
So Jackson might be feeling a certain type of way here. Let's see. We're going to do tarot as well. When are they going to meet this for this reunion here? When will that happen? Spiritual growth. Wow. So this may be a spiritual union that they're having here. Now they may have this in their brotherhood too. Let's see. They're, we come together with people for certain reasons throughout our lifetime. Wow. Okay, so there may have been health changes here and taking a next step. So this could be about this union and moving. Oh, so somebody might be moving on or moving forward with somebody here. Volunteer. They might help them move. They're going to volunteer to help them move or something here. To help them out. I feel like they're going to get over whatever it is. It's not a big deal. It's Their friendship is worth more than this little tiff here. I think there was just because he was spending time with someone else. Yeah, this privileged lady. So, okay, so we have a privileged lady. So what, what am I going to ask here? <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Oh, there might be some unexpected income coming in here. This may be to do um, with some type of creativity within a group or some self-expression, lighthearted communication between the two of them. They may be... This could be working together on something here. Maybe, uh, I don't know, what is that? Working together in the industry. What is it? Yeah, they're on the pathway. So this person that they re this reunion, this may be somebody that Golf knows from the industry here. This might be somebody that is also in the same industry. I feel like dressing up. I'm dressing up. Could be an actress or um, model or something like that. Wearing fancy stuff for a photo shoot, maybe? Yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Tell me about Jackson Wang, please. Tell me about him. Give me some cards for him. These two want to come. Wow. <laughs> okay, so he may be the best man at, at golf's wedding. The official person for this wedding. He may be, end up getting asked to be in the wedding party here. And kind of getting that's where he might have some fear here about this Queen of Pentacles. She may be expecting the same thing. And this may be where the sabotage comes in. Whoa, what's this? Concern and <laughs> poverty. So maybe feeling like it's about money. <laughs> There's some concern here. And poverty, but she's a queen of pentacles. She's got her own money. There's fear here, though. Maybe that she wants to get married, and if they end up breaking up, he's not going to have a lot left over. Or <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of... <laughs> I don't know what that is. I will have to get tarot for that. Yeah, a message of concern, and there's concern and concern. <laughs> and there's that ten of swords there, so it may be some type of betrayal. Somebody wants to be a team player here. Maybe this is just acting. Maybe this is in an industry. Some type of deceit or something. But the wedding, the best man in the wedding there, that that part is there. I feel like there is some type of concern about money issues, though. 
some things over. Send a master's are in here. Something about a change. But the message of concern here, the number five, that's some type of freedom to change some type of instability or conflict here. And you may be needing to adapt to something here. Hmm. We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Let's see here. Tell me about what needs to change for... Whoa, that went on the floor. Dang, hang on a sec. Okay. <laughs> so what did we get here? Well, conflict and defeat. There's that change. And it's just going to bring in a new beginning. So things need to end for a new beginning to come in. And this may be what this is about. This may be a breakup between somebody that is maybe feels deceiving there is some type of reveal here i want to tell you the truth so this person may have deceived him he may have deceived her somebody doesn't feel appreciated so it could have been about this person could have been because of uh, golf getting into a reunion with somebody eventually getting married ask him to be the best man here now they maybe they're actors and this is part of their acting story maybe there's a wedding and maybe they do movies or maybe they have their I don't know some kind of drama that they're in some project that they're in Hmm. <laughs> let's see here. Um, let's see. Tell me about this concern. Moving on. Yeah, so it's about new beginnings. So it's about an ending here, maybe to do with this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the marriage. What about the marriage? Triumph. <laughs> so definitely wanting to go forward huge on this like this is unbelievable using their intuition for sure they're going to triumph in this marriage so i feel like jackson is going to move on whereas golf is going to move forward with this reunion to get married now whether this is their acting or if this is in real life it's kind of hard to tell sometimes <laughs> I got this little space, like about this big, and the cards go through this little space. But I, if I get too close to the computer, I end up banging it, and the camera goes wonky all over the place. So, ah, oh, somebody might be doing their shadow work and balance with the Ascended Masters here. I kind of feel like this may be um, attaining their fruition here. This is... This is fulfillment. They may be good with their dark and light side here. There's that balance within their shadow side and their light side. So somebody is balanced right now for this to come in for this marriage. Hmm. Victory and success. Yes, yeah, six. Number six here. This is cooperation and harmony. This is family oriented. Oh, that's beautiful. What about the moving on? What happens? Ah, the truth about maybe a baby. Uh-oh, fertility is here. This could be spiritual growth. This could be a baby. There's some type of reveal of a truth. Wanting to tell the truth. That might be where the betrayal is here. Oh boy. We'll find out with the tarot cards when I get to that. Let's see. Disconnect and boredom. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. What do they want and don't want in a relationship? What about um, golf? What does he want and don't want in a relationship? All right, so 
doesn't like it when people give him the silent treatment, doesn't like going through the breakups and separating or feeling abandoned when things all fall apart. So anyone that runs away from it instead of working it out, he has a problem with that. All right, and what about Jackson? Oh, no one wants to come. Ah, he wants something. Well, <laughs> this is maybe what's going on here. Some shocking change, shocking news, a surprise, <laughs> an upheaval, and a transformation. Now, that fertility and truth going on here, I kind of getting baby vibes here. So, uh, this might be something does not care to know about like this sudden shocking kind of coming in and surprising the hell out of him it may not be somebody he wants to be with that's the thing he may have already broke up with this person let's see what do they want and don't want here that's a lot spirit what is it what does golf want or don't want here Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be no. They don't want somebody new. Um, they don't need to get back out there. They don't. Oh, they're setting a date though, and I feel like that's to get married. So there you have it. They may have been dating here for this reunion. So, but I feel like he doesn't want to meet someone new because he's back in a reunion. So, oh, what about the lightning? Tell me what he wants or doesn't want for Jackson. What does Jackson want or not want in a relationship? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, separation, deception, shocking attack. Ooh, wedding rings. <laughs> oh, no. There might be... Um, what do you call that uh, shotgun wedding <laughs> where you got her pregnant now you gotta marry her and that may not be what he wants at all wedding rings and stabbed in the back oh, feels like there was some type of deceit here that maybe tried to get pregnant on purpose maybe they were wearing uh, had Maybe they were saying that they're on the pill and they weren't, or there was some kind of, there was some type of deception here in any case when it came to maybe a baby. Now, maybe it's not even his. Maybe this is just a ploy to get some money. There is this poverty here, so it might be concerned that this person is just saying that just to get money. So... Let's see, it's on the bottom. Abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So <laughs> he might be a manifester. He might be able to manifest his way out of this one. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see, what does he feel about this? What is the deep, dark, hidden uh, confessions here? The heat between us is intense. And I feel like it's not in a passionate way. <laughs> I feel like it's uh, anger. Woo! Hello. <laughs> I long for your kiss. I don't know who I am anymore. I feel like there's very conflicting. This may be this person and this may be him. I'm getting, it's kind of like, he doesn't know what's going on with his life anymore and this person really likes him or wants to be with him and he's just like, yeah, no. I feel like he feels betrayed here. Like this was not supposed to happen. And I feel like the heat between them is of uh, debate, not, not really of love. Let's see has to do with fertility so all right tell me about this reunion how are they feeling about one another tell me about that this reunion for golf tell me about what's going on for golf 
No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. So, now, I feel like this may be somebody that is maybe not necessarily in the industry. Let's see. Maybe we are better off separated. And that might be because of the, I'm getting like limelight. No matter who I am, my thoughts always lead me back to you. And I feel like that this may be him saying this to this person, this reunion. I feel like the person that wants to be with him and reunion and go on dates and stuff maybe didn't realize how much time is going to be needed for for golf they may not get a lot of time with golf because everybody wants his energy everybody wants something from him or he's busy doing work and collaborating and doing this and doing that and all these things and it may not be what they signed up for for this marriage tell me about this you're so beautiful inside and out. Okay. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. Wow. So I feel like he's so into her. And I feel like she might be a little starstruck or kind of not sure how this is going to affect her their life and feel like there's hesitation here I am thinking about you right now is how attracted I am to how attracted you I am <laughs> all I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am how did I mess that up so bad <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm having trough mubbles, or mouth troubles. <laughs> Jeez. What's on the bottom of the deck? I can't let go of you. Yeah, I feel like this person may want to pull away, and he's not having it. Golf is not having it. His person is his person. Yeah, there's love yourself first. So there is a lot of self-love happening here. Tell me about Jackson now. Tell me about him. What's going to happen with him? Uh, these three, I guess. Let's see. What do we got? All right. There's true love, romantic feelings, and make the effort. So, hmm. He might run into somebody that is a true love for him. There might be a lot of romantic feelings and he may want to get married, but this might be because of a baby and he might run into the person he's meant to be with here. There's going to be some type of uh, truth revealed here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Flirt. Okay. So he may be flirting with somebody here and... He does feel like he got stabbed in the back. There's pain, separation. So he's separated from this person. Could be the wedding rings are for this new person. Soul connection here. Everlasting promise. Wow. So this may end up being for someone new, a true love. <sighs> What's going to happen here? Let's find out with the tarot. Tell me about <laughs> the disconnect and boredom. Hmm, competition. Oh boy. So somebody's going to triumph and have a victory here. And I feel like that is golf. Oh, there's that Queen of Pentacles here. There's a Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like it might be, oh, the Emperor. Wow. We have the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles are maybe having um, some kind of hostility and arguments here with the five of wands conflicting opinions 
complex struggle, play acting. So this may be, <laughs> this may be acting. This may be all in, um, in a show. Wow, okay. Three of Wands. Business cooperation. So this may be some type of, I'm maybe acting here. I'm getting, maybe this has to do with some type of script that they're doing. <laughs> wow, well, you're going to know better than I am um, when it comes to whether this is maybe in the movie or a show that they've, they're in or were in about a baby coming up and then finding true love and then friend finding love and moving and feeling like he lost this person, his friend, and when he needed him the most, I, I don't know, and then finding the love of his life and getting married. Yeah, there's crying about this. I feel like there's this Queen of Pentacles here is going to be out in the cold and that might be what the Five of Cups is about. The sadness, disappointment, disappointment about this. Now, I feel like there's going to be a truth revealed when it comes to this. What's the Five of Cups? Ah... Somebody's ready to do battle here. And this may be about going to court and kind of getting a maybe fertility test. I'm not just going to take your word for it. And this may be... Um, somebody might be disappointed about that because maybe they're trying to, you know, have one over on them. Maybe it's not even his baby. Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion here or an illusion. So, wishful thinking. <laughs> this is about an illusion here. So, this isn't, I feel like this is wishful thinking, wishing that it was his baby and it isn't. I'm kind of getting some type of illusion here with the Seven of Cups and confusion maybe trying to confuse the matter just to get him to marry her this queen of pentacles he finds somebody has romantic feelings and wants to make an effort for this true love flirting with this person wanting to get married to this person so i feel like it's not this queen of pentacles where are we at here? What's the isolation? Yeah, watching. Maybe watching. Hmm, that's a facade here. He's accepting something. It's a little bittersweet. And I feel like you might have been watching this person here about this fertility and truth here. Might have been getting someone to watch her. Find out what her movements have been didn't like the vibe or something. There's temperance here. Just wanting harmony and peace here and be in the flow. And I feel he's got to be patient to find out the truth. Let's see here. What's the unappreciated? Queen of Cups. This is a sweetheart. Who is this? Queen of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. This could be about this reunion. Very beautiful. Maybe down on their luck. Wanting to collaborate. Revealing a truth. 
I feel like this may be this reunion, this ex coming back. This may be something that they're end up working on. She needs the money or the work. She may have felt out in the cold, and but they do get re. There is a reunion here. So tell me about the volunteer. Yeah, volunteering to help do this wedding. I feel like moving. I feel like it has to do with this couple here with golf and his reunion person. There's a lot of self-love there. I feel like that makes this person very attractive. Yeah, moving forward and putting down all burdens. So I feel like with that, there's deadlines and obligations, success at a price, and having to move forward here. Now that may have been the past when it came to this person. This could have been a breakup between the two of them. Let me find out. What's the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands about? <laughs> the past. It is the past. So this was what happened in the past. There was too much of a burden. I feel um, maybe, maybe she's in the industry or maybe she was down on her luck and needed him the most and he couldn't bear the burden and had to move on. I feel like he may have been discovered right around that time. This may have been something that plagued him. This is what happened in the past and I feel like things, he had to have that self-love for himself to go down the path that he was meant to go and leave her behind at the time. Now she's coming back around so let's see. Yeah, he definitely wants to pursue her. He still has feelings for her so yeah. <laughs> It may have been an unexpected union, the reunion. Maybe they ran into one another. They weren't looking for it. That's usually when it happens. I can't make it up. <laughs> First comes love, then comes marriage, and then we know what comes down the road. <laughs> Tell me about the message of concern. So I kind of feel like, yeah, it's about an offer. See. I'm kind of getting right now this conflict and defeat about this baby, this truth. And then he's going to have a new beginning with this other person. So I feel like he gets this bad news and then runs into his true love and wants to marry her. And now he's got to fight to find out if this child is even his. Yeah, it's causing them nightmares with the Nine of Swords. This is worry and depression and anguish and nightmares and anxiety. Definitely. So what? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even get my, my words out. Ten of Swords. And then there's love with the wheel turning. I can't make it up. I, I just said it and that's what shows up in the cards. <laughs> All right, I was just going to ask about the wedding rings. I think I got my answer already. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, making a decision. Yeah, I feel like he's got to make a decision on which route he's going to go. Is he going to follow his heart? Or is he going to kind of have that defeat about this? Or is he going to fight to find out and not just take this person's word for it? That may mean going to court and doing a bunch of fertility tests and kind of that kind of thing. Now this all could be a movie that they're doing. I, I can't, the energy's there. Maybe they're all working in the show. They all might be in the industry. Hmm, because we did get that play acting come up, which is fake, which is... For me, that's it could be acting, right? Play acting or faking. So, <laughs> so 
he's, he's going to make a decision on what route he's going to go. What's the abundance? I feel like the abundance, yeah. He's going to heal. Things are going to heal out in his favor. I feel like his abundance here, by keeping that positive mindset and following his heart towards these wedding rings here, I feel like Jackson is going to find his way, her path. With the hermit, he may be trying to kind of go within and try to figure out what to do about this mess he's in. Now, with that hermit, this is Virgo energy. He feels like, you know, that, um, I guess you could say, <laughs> what's the best way of putting this? Um, I kind of feel like having that alone time and kind of searching within doing that self-love and and really kind of deciding of whether he's going to follow his heart or not um is really weighing on his on him like this is a big decision on which route he's going to go because if the child is his then what is he going to do he might be forced to marry this girl that he doesn't want to marry and may end up having to walk away from his true love. And I feel like this this is like a dun 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 <laughs> like some kind of drama 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 and that could be this T V program or acting or something along those lines. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, tell me I can't let you go. Yeah, this person is very happy. And I feel like this is um, this reunion. This is what we were talking about earlier. He does not want to let this person go. Makes him very happy with the sun card in all areas of his life. I feel like he feels complete with the ten of pentacles here and the lovers. And I mean, this is all just like new beginnings. And it's just amazing whatever's coming in for there for love is just unbelievable i mean definitely jackson's gonna go through a bit of a whirlwind here when it comes to a new romance and then with somebody that he's already walked away from is going to come back and say that they're pregnant with this child and then he's got to try to find out if that's even true so <laughs> King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, uh-oh. So he's showing up as the Emperor, though. So, and this is going to be a competition. This is a conflict. This is conflicting opinions and complex struggle, that play acting and faking. So this person could be lying. There's a lot of weight lifted, I feel, if it's not true. And it's going to reflect back on him that way feel like he's can heal from whatever this is and be able to move forward whether or not it is true or not i feel like he wants to follow his heart that's for sure so let's have a look what is golf's intuition telling him yeah let's party celebrate we're getting married <laughs> and what about jackson yeah, oh, walking away here from somebody, he's got to make a choice. Who's it going to be? The one he truly wants to marry? Or is it going to be this person he's already walked away from? Yay, yay, yay. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens after tarot. Let's see, tell me about this conflict here with the three of wands this is a lot of disappointments and troubles ending so let's see king of cups so i feel like he's emotionally balanced and this could be <laughs> this could be about being compassionate to this person but i feel like he's gonna find out that he's good to love and i feel like with the king of cups that is where yeah let's see yeah look at that 
back to being content. So I feel like whatever nightmare he was having here with this person, I feel like this is going to, he's going to choose the, the he's going to make the decision. He's going to choose the cup and he's going to be quite content um, with the nine of cups. Like this is single and wishes fulfilled. So sense of well-being. So he's, He's feeling good about things, so I feel like this might be a chance to pr pursue this. So tell me about, <laughs> what do we want to go with here? Tell me about the message of concern and this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a new passionate beginning here that he wants to find after he finds out about this. So the message of concern and he wants to give his pentacle to this new love, this true love, this new passionate beginning he could have. So let's see what's the hermit. Yeah, look at that. He's going to follow his heart. He's going to heal from whatever this mess was here, and he's going to follow his heart. So let's just end this for now, because I feel like I've pretty much said, saying all the same things again. So what's the three of cups? Yeah, look at that, that equal give and take with his reunion person, his person he ends up marrying here. And what about the eight of cups? What happens? Yeah, <laughs> that all is a big kerfuffle. Um, with the tower, everything changes. So this to me is kind of telling me that he walks and follows his heart. So he walks away from this mess. Whatever this upheaval is, I feel like it's done with. Let's see. Let's crack the deck. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Getting caught red-handed. And I feel like, oh, look at there, ah, the truth is revealed, hello, I, can, I can't take any more, I've, I've already said all I can say about this, <laughs> it's all right in these two cards right there when it comes to this. So the truth will come out, they're going to get caught red-handed in a lie of, or some deception or whatever it is, it's not his child. It, now this could be, I hope I didn't ruin it for the ending of this movie or whatever they're doing here, if they're actors or whatever this is. Because um, <laughs> I'm picking that up, picking up some type of drama um, with the privileged lady I'm getting dressing up or maybe a photo shoot or I don't know. Um, maybe having to wear a certain garb for this movie or this wearing certain outfits for this movie. So I don't know. I, I can't tell. Maybe they're going to be doing a movie, but this is what's going on in any case in their energy. So you'll have to tell me <laughs> if they have a new project working together with golf and Jackson. So anyways, they have a really strong connection. I feel like they may have a tiff here or felt unappreciated, but come around together as good, good friends. And I feel like they have each other back. I mean, he's his best man at his wedding. Like this is like, wow, they're like brothers. It looks like, like they're really close friends. Wow. Beautiful. Best friends I'm getting there. All right, you guys. All right. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe and become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you want to donate, you can. There's a PayPal link just down in the description box. Click on the little more and it will drop down. There'll be a link there. Just click on that. It'll take you right to PayPal. If you want to do the super thanks, I thank you. Thank you. And thank you for that. And I appreciate all of it. Um, there's been some 
uh, cards that somebody wanted me to purchase so I did get those cards I'm waiting for the order to come in and um, I also purchased a couple other decks so I got another Kipper deck which are these ones here I, I love these cards so much having um, having two decks I will put them all together so I I wanted to try that and see how that worked out so and then I also got some new ones and I think there's one that is a soul connection uh, love deck uh, specifically for love so that's what I got I posted it in my community tab so if you want to have a look and see what I wrote there and yeah okay you guys we will well we'll yeah <laughs> What else can I say? I, mean, I think I've got it all down now. So, all right, you guys, take care and stay blessed. And uh, we'll see you next time. Later.